just a whole nother powerhouse. This is the bee's knees. You've never seen anything like it before, and you just want to be a part of it. So Rhonda is like every dream that you've had about like maybe queer culture, like every idea and everything that you wanted to experience in one room. Rhonda is the best party you've ever been to in your life. Mm -hmm. tagline was house disco and polysexual hard partying. I don't know how we became friends or why we're friends. Gregory's a shining star of the gay community and I'm a straight record store nerd kid. And being best friends and going out to uh, parties in LA, we noticed that we had to choose between like, hey, are we gonna go see your friends or are we gonna go see my friends? We kind of wanted to have a place that would fill a void that is somewhere in the netherworld between the gay clubbing world and the straight clubbing world, like a community that isn't able to find itself in other places. When we started, LA was kind of considered a cultural backwater a little bit. We had like an inferiority complex compared to New York. The music that we were trying to hear and the players in that type of music genre were not really being featured in Los Angeles very well. We perceived a lack of identity in, in the Los Angeles scene. And since then, it's a complete 180. We created this character of Rhonda, right? Like she was this woman that we made up. She was kind of this Carmen San Diego of nightlife. We would always like communicate from the voice of Rhonda. People that actually for a long time literally never even knew that we were behind it. They would come to the club and be like, where is Rhonda? Like, I, I can never see her. Where is she? Yeah. <laughs> or some people would tell us stories about, like, that they had met her. And we were like, that's so interesting. I wonder who that was. <laughs> yes. Follow me. So I'm going to give you, basically, the experience. The theme for, for this room is a little bit like Ice Bitch. It's going to be icicles, darkness, and disco. So for Rhonda, it's really, she's all about like full force fantasies. A lot of what Rhonda represents is being able to take yourself out of the everyday world and kind of just transform at night. So we like to transform spaces. We're gonna zhuzh up the stairs a little bit with some bodices, add a couple of little love is the message, neon letterings here. And then we're going into the naughty room. It's like a little jungle in here. Fixing it up in here, adding a few more acorns and shit like that, or pine cones, whatever the fuck. Let's finish up that wall. I want to see it done in like 15, and then let's start with the curtains. It's not just a party you go to. It's kind of like an attitude and like, and just a personality. Yeah, so this is like a little sidebar room, and uh, it's going to be like a little marshmallow love pen and a little bit of glitter and fun and shimmer and you're you're just gonna find people like all up in this area all over each other um, mostly taking pictures but doing other things as well which we completely condone and support bringing art to the nightclub is bringing fantasy to the nightclub it's creating environments it's creating an escape for people yeah i like that we took a lot of early influences from like the Zurich Dada movement around 1912, and that was like essentially a clubbing movement. And you go from that to New York in the 1970s with where punk, disco, and hip hop were born in the same kind of like melting pot. Nightlife in those situations is the catalyst for huge like cultural shifts. That's what people don't really realize about nightlife. So that's where like the cultural petri dish is. Yeah. try to be a melting pot of a lot of different groups and bring them together under like one disco ball. You get 
the most beautiful queens, the most beautiful trans people, the most beautiful queer people. You get straight people who want to be queer. Everybody's just like really down for like this world that we've created here. You know, like everyone wants to be in this like all possibility ideal. It had that dope gay energy of a disco. It doesn't really exist unless you like find it and they kept doing it. In general, it's a place of solace for people who are different. Just to have a space that's welcoming towards men, women, non-binary, people of all types. It's so rare in LA. I don't think that we should have a complex about being involved in nightlife where we're doing something morally wrong. We're there for people to become themselves. Mm -hmm.